perhaps like you, I bought the Outtech or Utech Qi charging stand for my night table. I usually charge overnight and use my phone as an alarm. This thing seemed like the perfect solution, allowing me to easily see the time and the snooze and cancel swipe points when the alarm goes off. In the Amazon listing, it looks quite sleek, and in person, it doesn't disappoint. Well, too much. In real life, it looks pretty good, though it lacks the luster of the pics in the listing, of course. But it also reminded me of one of those 1980s picture frame stands. My parents had a bunch of them when I was a kid, and I loved them back then. But now the style seems dated. I know that comes down to my own experiences, but at any rate, there you have it. Plus, it was cracked in one corner. Not a big deal as far as I'm concerned, though. In the box is a small manual, which is really all it's needed, and the charging stand itself in a very pleasantly textured bag. I have a Motorola Nexus 6, which is a pretty big phone. Fortunately, this stand is relatively beefy, being only a bit narrower than the phone itself. Besides the looks, I was attracted to this charger by the deep lip in the front that looked like it would hold my immense Nexus quite securely. And indeed, there's no way it's going to slip up and over that lip. I was quite pleased with the pads on the bottom of the base, too. They really grab onto the table nicely so the unit won't slide all over the place. The first time I plonked the phone down in portrait orientation, it started charging immediately, and all was well. However, when I tried using the phone, just navigating around a bit, it wobbled like crazy. That's not helped by the Nexus's curved back and bottom, obviously, but there's very little friction between the acrylic and the phone. In landscape orientation, the phone is much more stable. In fact, I envisioned using it in landscape all the time anyway, so I don't really mind the portrait wobble. But the problem I have, and this will of course vary widely between models of phones, is that the Nexus 6 has a Qi coil that's off-centered when oriented in landscape. I'll take the cover off the charger so you can see the coils and why this is a problem. I found this image from ifixit.com, which shows the coil right about here. Using that image as a template, I put a piece of green tape on the back of the Nexus to show the placement and diameter of the coil. To get good coupling between the coil and the phone and the one on the charger, the phone has to be far left of center. Uh, that may appeal to you politically, but it means that, again, now the phone doesn't sit stably on the base. My advice is that if you plan on using your phone in landscape on any brand of these portrait-style charging stands, find out where the Qi coil is on your phone and keep that in mind when selecting one. The one on the Nexus 6 hits the mark just about dead center in portrait, though. But enough about the bed. One very appealing thing to me about the Outtech is the way the LED shines through the bottom on the unit. It's bright enough so that it looks pretty damn cool, but not so bright as to be obnoxious in a dark room. In fact, it only shot well on camera with most of the lights turned off. However, I'm not sure what's up with this. Sometimes my phone will start charging immediately when I stick it on there. Other times the LED blinks between green and blue, which as close as I can find from the manual means unnormal. And the phone doesn't charge when that's happening. The manufacturer recommends using the charger with a 2 amp or higher rated power supply, and I did try this out with a 1.5 amp, a 4 amp, and a 6 amp USB supply, and it was hit and miss with all of them. Sometimes it would charge, and other times it would be unnormal. And I have a Qi charging mat at my office, which works just fine, so I don't think the problem was with the phone. In as much as I have some bad things to say about this device, I can't in good conscience pan it. I think it certainly has some issues with the Nexus 6, which the seller listed as compatible probably just because it's a Qi-enabled phone and not because its form factor suited this stand. And you may not have similar issues with your phone, of course, and this may work flawlessly for you. Based on other reviews, it has indeed worked well for many people. So before you buy it, consider the shape of your phone and the location of its Qi coil. And if I could request anything of the manufacturer, it would be that they make the face of the charging area out of a rubberized or otherwise high friction surface, and put a rubberized pad at the bottom for the phone to sit on. That would probably make the stand a perfect choice for a wide variety of contoured phones. Well, thanks very much for watching. I'm Scott, and this has been a Let's Open Quick Video. If you want to see my reviews of other products from China, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. And uh, find my channel first if you're watching this on Amazon. You can also check out my blog at s.co.tt.